grain in the fur. And where he's had a collar a few days, I want to get that real good. Cover his ears, so he won't roll right in the beard. See the loose guard hairs here, right? If you come in close, you can pull that up with your fingers. You see that part? You gotta come around. You see down in there? The guard hair? That you can bring out with your fingers. The undercoat, you need to come in. With, uh, have a rake like this. And you can bring in the rake lightly and bring up a lot of out of here that way. If you go the other way sometimes you can you'll get a bunch like this. And you never really have to use your fingers to pull it off because you can just get it up that way. Come around to over here maybe so you can see easier. See I'll be bringing I'm bringing back a lot of the cooling out undercoat by going the opposite way where so he's coming back, using my fingers at the same time. Pick up the guard here. Don't Watch don't where this me. thing is going. Using this to give it to the bird. No, don't aim to me. <laughs> We start at the top until if I want to look at his fur, I'll go very slowly where the fur parts and I can look at his skin. You can check almost all of his skin. It even, it even moves that undercoat out of the way. So it, it's good for inspection too. I'll start with the hair. Same thing, going opposite rather than this way. That way doesn't do much good. This way does. You don't want to point it right into his butt, obviously, but all the way around, when I, when I get him close to his butt, I go in an angle, right? So it doesn't go right into the this has always got lots of loose hair on any dog, this part on here. So you gotta get down here to below it and blow it up and away. You can also use this here to, to remove some of that loose stuff, right? Bring that up and maybe do that little healthy stuff. Especially when he's wet out in the rain or something, they do a lot around him, around here. Cut down on the odor and it just really, really keeps him clean. The back, back leg, if you want to pick up a back leg, you can go either way, whichever the dog tolerates better. The front foot, I usually just bend it this way. I bend it this way and just go right here. It bends naturally and it's easy to And you can also inspect in between the pads and move the hair out, right? And after it's got the top mostly, start, start going on the side. If it's just going to be aimed towards his head, I want to keep that, keep that ear blocked off, right? And you can see how it, I can do the same thing on the side, you know, pulling his hair out. And you, 
know if the camera is picking it up, but you can see it's, you really don't need a comb. This will get a little bit more, but the teeth, if it has a little growth or something, you're just going to need to use it. Straight on. For this part. from here, from up here, like this, right? It, it helps keep them on there. After a while, probably won't be too necessary and you can pull. I like to do it without a collar if it's possible, because then you get the neck really good. And, you know, it just needs a lot of that. And you can, you're giving them a little massage while you're doing it. He's like it almost all dogs do. Since that collar's on his neck a lot, you want to check his neck really good. So you want to get in here and, and do it when you got some light, when the sun's out here, you know, rather than any shadow. You can you can really get a good good inspection on his neck. But the key point is always going against the fur. If you're just going this way, you're just flattening it out, and you really don't get nearly as much. You get it works so much faster. So you're going into the fur. Any other parts you want to see? Okay, that, that's pretty good for now. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Thank you, Jingo. Good boy. Okay. Come on. 